Hey guys, I'm Greg Bills, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create an aquarium building, and this building has three large fish tanks, and two of the tanks are on ground level, and they're filled with coral. And then there's a tank up top, and the upper dome, and this has viewpoints from underneath as well. Also, this aquarium could be drained of all the water, and it could be turned into a modern house as well. And at the end of the video, I'll show how this building looks if you want to turn it into a modern house. Now this build is broken down into 7 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Now here's a complete list of the materials we'll need to build this aquarium. Now this entire build project will require a 24 block by 19 block area spacing. And I marked my area with coarse dirt blocks, and you could do the same, and that way we'll know how big the layout is before we start the build. Step 1. First let's create the concrete frame. We'll need 204 gray concrete blocks. To start, move over and back a space from the left corner of the outline. Then make an 8 wide row of gray concrete. Then make the side a total of 15 blocks wide. Then connect the 8 by 15 rectangle. Then we can add three additional concrete blocks on each corner. Then leave six blocks of spacing and make a center column. Then we can connect all the way around the top. Then let's make an identical structure on the other side as well. Then once completed, let's connect the two structures together along the back and along the front as well. Step 2. Next let's add in the glass roof and diorite support beams. We'll need 198 glass blocks and 36 diorite blocks. To start, add a diorite crossbeam at the 6 gray concrete block over. And now leave 4 blocks of space in between. Then let's leave 3 blocks of spacing, and make another diorite crossbeam. Then we can fill in the remaining area in the roof with glass blocks. Step 3. Next let's add in the floors and side windows. We'll need 168 glass blocks, 181 sand, 96 stone, and 18 diorite blocks. To start, let's add in stone. And we can start the stone two blocks in front of the gray concrete walls. And extend to the back. Then we can add in a diorite wall. Then let's remove the gray concrete in between the columns on the inner sides. Then we can fill the sides with sand, and this sand will be the bottom of the fish tank.
Next was adding glass blocks on the sides. And this will be the tank wall. And then after that, we can add in glass blocks all the way around the exterior of the building as well. Step 4. Next was adding the front entrance. We'll need 10 white glass blocks, 4 oak doors, 18 cobblestone wall sections, 9 stone slabs, 18 smooth stone blocks, and 80 stone stairs. Start by adding in smooth stone 2 blocks wide and 3 blocks tall. Then repeat on the other side. Then add in white glass blocks. and oak doors as well. Then we can add in more smooth stone blocks on top. Then we we'll choose the stone stairs and wrap the smooth stone. Then we could use stone slabs for an extended overhang in the front. And we can add cobblestone wall sections as well for columns. Then let's continue wrapping the stone stairs all the way around the building. Step 5. Next was adding the glass dome on top. We'll need 156 white glass blocks, 120 diorite stairs, and 72 diorite blocks. Let's start by making an 8 wide glass row. Then make it 5 blocks deep. Then we can make a row on top, and we can make this row spaced out one block extra all the way around. Then we can add a larger ring on top of the previous one. Then for the next ring, we can make this ring one block smaller all the way around. Then let's add another smaller ring on top of this. Then we could do this one more time with a smaller ring as well.
and here's a diagram to help show the layout of the glass rings. Next, let's add in three diorite blocks to each corner. Then we can add five upside down diorite stairs to each corner as well. Then repeat all the way up, adding three diorite blocks and five upside down stairs to each corner. And we can do this to each side. Step 6. Next we can head inside the tank, and I'm going to access the first tank by going into the top. Then I'm going to add in sea lanterns into the ground for lighting. And then we can add in water. And as we add in the water, make sure to add the water one layer at a time. And that way, there will be no voids in the water creating uneven currents in the tank. Then we can add in coral to the bottom of the tank as well. And we can add in buckets of fish after that. Then we can repeat for the other tank as well. Also, we could fill the top dome with water as well, and add this water one layer at a time. Then we can add in seagrass, and any kind of fish you would prefer. Step 7. Now the aquarium is completed, and we could do a walkthrough. And I'll showcase this aquarium. Now, if you don't need an aquarium in your Minecraft world, we could drain all the water in this aquarium and we can make a modern house. So here's the modern look instead. So inside, I drained all the water and I replaced the sand with hardwood floors. Then from here, I added in interior walls.
and for the dome up top, I turned it into a glass viewing area, or a lookout tower. So this is another good option for your build, if you don't want an aquarium in your Minecraft world. Thank you guys so much for watching this build, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build, or would like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe, because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many or playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.